Y'all better pay attention to this. Y'all better wake up. Wake up. China and Russia are interested in building inf infrastructures and business. America is more interested in transhumanism. Let me even throw it on the west side. America right now comes to Tanzania, comes to Ghana, comes to Zambia with 16 million. And guess what? 16 million only for Zambia. The 16 million, ask me, what is it for? What is it for? For human rights. Across the river, China and Russia coming to South Africa, ask me for what? For what? For a military training. Nation building. And skills sharing. Partnership. Of security. Not servitude. So the Americans are more interested in a transgender, homosexual agenda around the world. They will invest their money and give you money to protect human rights. Russia and China are coming with weapons and militarization strategies so that we can protect ourselves. So I want to say this very loud and clear to the Americans. Continue on your transgender agenda. <laughs> Stay there. Leave us to do politics on the other side. Because what we need right now is not a minority human rights activation. What we need is a societal transformation. And for you as Americans to think that we really envy that when you have an anti lesbian, anti-gay, LGBT principle, then tourists will drop. Let me correct that once and for all, Smooth. And cut and clip this, and it must be loud and clear. Are you saying to me that all the tourists are gay? And when you hear that this is a non-gay zone, tourism will suffer. Question number one. Question number two. Are you saying that we don't have a right to expressing ourselves as Africans? Question number three. If democracy means majority rules, and majority votes against a principle. Mm -hmm. Then why won't you allow that to become law? Mm -hmm. Are you saying the minority must manage the majority? Or the majority must manage the minority? Then if that whole ideology is wrong, then take democracy in a nice black dustbin bag and throw it outside. Because what you are telling us is, the, is, is the by the people, for the people, with the people, and all, the, all those slogans you hear, what democracy represents. If we are 10 in the room and nine people say no, and one, people, one person says, it, yes, democracy says, you go with the majority. So if we say we want to make Africa democratic, and the demographics of our democracy says no, then why do you philosophically want to manipulate the will of the majority to favor the will of the minority? Very good question. China and Russia are interested in partnership. America and the West are interested in servitude. They want to keep their boots on the neck of the third world, which they made the third world by sanctioning the hell out of them for hundreds of years. China forgave Africa four billion, however, lots of money in debt. China wrote it off. Like, forget about it. You didn't have to worry about paying it. China interested in businesses that benefit them, of course, but they're not coming over trying to tell you how to live your life. They're not dangling the carrot in front of you and saying, we're going to give you this carrot. But first, you have to do what we say. You have to adhere to our lifestyle, our culture, for we, for us to be able to give you this money. China's not doing that. Russia is not doing that. 